In 2020, the importance of laboratory medicine has never been clearer, and driving forward the field of clinical laboratory science and its application in healthcare is more urgent than ever. That's what AACC is all about, and now, as the 2020 AACC Annual Scientific Meeting and Clinical Lab Expo goes virtual, we are here to cover it all for you on AACC TV. Welcome to our third episode here at the 2020 AACC Annual Scientific Meeting and Clinical Lab Expo. This is AACC TV, your daily show dedicated to the very latest in laboratory medicine. Today we gear up for more on one of the key topics of this year's meeting, COVID-19. We'll visit Curative to hear how they are improving testing capacity in the United States, find out where to get the latest in SARS-CoV-2 testing, and much more on the expo floor. We'll also head to Longhorn Vaccines and Diagnostics, where products are playing a key role in COVID-19 testing. And we'll get a chance to discuss the role of the laboratory in the opioid epidemic with Frederick Strathman. First though, Stacy Melanson, Vice Chair of the Annual Meeting Organizing Committee, lets us know what to watch out for at the meeting today. Hi everyone and welcome to day three of the 2020 AACC Annual Scientific Meeting and Clinical Laboratory Expo. I'm very excited to tell you about the content we have related to COVID-19 and I hope it will help you better deal with the challenges you've been heroically facing for the past many months. Yesterday, we had a talk on SARS-CoV-2 virology, which I hope you enjoyed. Today, we have two talks. Uh, one, a special presentation at 4.30 p.m. today by Admiral Brett Girard, who is leading the SARS-CoV-2 testing efforts for the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. We also have a talk this morning on SARS-CoV-2 vaccine development. And then tomorrow, Wednesday afternoon, uh, we have a talk on therapies for COVID-19. And then we'll finally wrap it up on Thursday where we have two presentations, one by the University of Washington uh, and the testing and their response at the start of the pandemic. And then another on antibody and antigen tests and immunity to the virus. So I hope you all enjoy. Some great COVID related sessions to drop by on today. Now, as we know, this pandemic has really shown how important laboratory medicine is, and we have seen labs everywhere step into the limelight. Over the last six months, Curative has grown from 9 to 12,000 employees, helping improve the testing capacity of the United States. There are a lot of unmet public health needs in the U.S around accessible, affordable, um, convenient healthcare that Curative can fill. We have a soup to nuts approach to beating COVID. Everything from reaching out to patients, finding locations, building new testing modalities, and then getting results to patients. At this point we've done almost 7 million tests across the whole country, and we've set up over 8,000 testing sites. Main mission of Curative is to make COVID to go away faster. Everybody is tired, everybody had enough. I'd really like us to go back to normal life as soon as possible. AACC TV is brought to you from inside the 2020 AACC Annual Scientific Meeting and Clinical Lab Expo. Featuring interviews with key speakers and updates about the meeting, we've also traveled the world to bring you insights into the global field of laboratory medicine. You will find us on the virtual meeting platform as well as online and on social media. We will bring you a new episode each day of the meeting and make sure to click through for much more from the world of laboratory medicine. Now to the virtual expo floor to hear from AACC immediate past president, Carmen Wiley, on how to get the most out of this year's exciting clinical lab expo. Like every year, the 2020 AACC Clinical Lab Expo is chock full of the latest innovations and practice solutions for labs worldwide. And our exhibitors are game on for this virtual event 
enabling you to explore a rich menu of product links, downloads, and demos, and offering flexible connection options to suit your preferences. Armed with this information, you'll be able to have productive interactions from the comfort and convenience of your office or home. Looking for information on SARS-CoV-2 tests? From the roster of exhibitors, select the category Diagnostic Testing, then Infectious Disease Testing. There, you'll find all the companies operating in that space with contact information and details about their products. Connecting for more specifics will just be a few clicks away. Exhibitors will host live chats from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central Time today, tomorrow, and Thursday. You also can direct message companies for more information or schedule a meeting or drop off a virtual business card, allowing exhibitors to contact you. With your permission, exhibitors also can contact you directly based on your registration profile. Virtual industry workshops and product theaters packed with practical information and insights in 20 or 60 minute presentations feature live chats and offline Q&A for on-demand viewing. Through engaging with us in a different format than usual, our exhibitors are showcasing the full depth and breadth of the IVD industry. So come on and explore. Make sure to stop by the Expo where you will find all the latest innovations in laboratory medicine and clinical chemistry. Now let's go to Longhorn Vaccines and Diagnostics, whose products are playing a key role in COVID-19 testing in both the developed and the developing world. Longhorn Vaccines and Diagnostics was established to look for uh, products that could impact the pandemic. And 15 years later, we have had a major impact on allowing samples to be shipped safely to laboratories for accurate testing by molecular tests. Primestar MTM was developed to meet the needs of, of the changing industry. What makes Primestar different than the rest is a number of things. Most importantly, it's the only FDA cleared product for collection of respiratory samples for downstream detection. Primestar MTM is designed to blow open anything with a phospholipid bilayer to disrupt membranes, to kill the viruses, so that our workers can process the samples at point of care without being in the BSL-3 gear or even under a BSL-2 hood. The AACC Annual Scientific Meeting and Clinical Lab Expo is much more than just the sessions. And even though this year's meeting is virtual, there's still plenty of opportunity to connect with fellow attendees. Let's hear how now from Steve Master. As the AACC president-elect, it's my privilege to extend my personal welcome to you at the 2020 AACC Annual Scientific Meeting and Clinical Lab Expo. I understand how seriously we all take the science at this meeting, but even though we are virtual this year, I also want to encourage all of you to make time for the special social and networking opportunities happening this week. It's important to remember that professional development encompasses more than just our technical or management skills. Professional development also requires nurturing relationships and engaging with peers in a fun way to build strong connections. One of the many lessons the pandemic has taught us is that our field is much stronger when we work together. So, to facilitate these relationships and networking, on Tuesday night, we'll host an event that includes options that range from socializing with music to having focused discussions. Then Wednesday, we will hold ACC's first ever talent show. No matter how it goes, you won't want to miss it. Also, in the spirit of the holidays, be sure to check your closet before coming to the show, because immediately afterwards, in the same digital venue, we'll host, yes, you guessed it, an ugly sweater competition. Does Cycle have uglier sweaters than the board? Can CLS outdo the Academy? We'll find out. All week, you can use the networking function of the meeting platform. We're excited to use the smart tool that adds the spontaneity and the opportunities that many of us miss to meet new people at an in-person conference. Whichever events and sessions you choose to attend, 
bring your sense of curiosity and sense of adventure. We're all learning how to use some new tools this year, but we'll still come away with the same benefits. New knowledge, a fresh perspective on our field, and the tools we need to recharge and tackle the challenges ahead. The opioid epidemic has gripped the United States for years, and laboratory professionals are often positioned at the forefront in vital surveillance and analysis. To talk us through how they can be most effective, I'm joined by Frederick Strathman, who will be presenting a talk on that very subject at the meeting. Frederick, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So what role do laboratory professionals play in the opioid epidemic? So it's, it's interesting. That's pretty diverse, and I think that's sort of what our session is really going to focus on is sort of the, the wide-ranging roles that laboratorians play. Um, and, you know, there's lots that the laboratory has to do from developing tests to determining which analytes need to be looked at, which drugs need to be looked at, um, and also how that information is disseminated so that way it can be actionable by the different state agencies or federal agencies that may rely on that information. Interesting. So what else is going to be new at this session? So this session, I think, is going to be interesting and unique for AACC in that it brings a lot more of the forensic experience to the opioid epidemic efforts than what we may normally uh, discuss at the annual meeting. So the clinical laboratory, certainly critical in identifying opioid use, uh, informing physicians to help guide treatment options, um, and to ensure abstinence with compliance, uh, drug treatment testing efforts. But our counterparts in forensic toxicology are uniquely positioned in that they are both earlier and later in the entire testing process. So a lot of forensic laboratories conduct testing on seized drugs, and part of our session will talk about efforts on that front, as well as data analytics to share those findings. Um, in addition, the unfortunate endpoint is the need for post-mortem toxicological analyses, uh, which is also done in the forensic setting. And so this session will really provide, I think, a much broader view of the various roles that different types of laboratories and partnerships can play in the opioid epidemic. So what actions do you think that uh, attendees will be able to take after attending this session? What I'm hoping is that attendees are proud to see the impact that the laboratory is actually having in stopping the opioid epidemic uh, and that they recognize aspects of their daily work and what we are actually presenting. Um, and at the same time, I want the attendees to recognize the seriousness, seriousness of what we are doing and what we're being asked to do as a laboratory community and to not enter into this area very lightly. All right, Frederick Strathman, thank you so much for your time today. All the best. Yeah, thank you. Great insights from Frederick Strathman there at the front line of the opioid epidemic. Don't miss that session. Now, as we wrap up our third show here at the AACC Annual Scientific Meeting and Clinical Lab Expo, let's look ahead at what's in store tomorrow. Tomorrow, we are tackling the next generation of sequencing, new molecular technologies, and their role in cancer detection and management. It's going to be another great day. We'll see you then. Welcome to AACC's first all-virtual annual scientific meeting. My name is Paul Gianetto, and I am the chair of the 2020 Annual Meeting Organizing Committee. I am personally excited to log in and learn the latest science from top-notch speakers, abstract presenters, as well as explore the many new products at the Clinical Laboratory Expo. While you're at it, I encourage you to take advantage of the many opportunities to reconnect with friends, colleagues, and even make a few new connections. A great place to start is at our social events on Tuesday and Wednesday evening. At these events, you'll be able to dance your heart out, explore scientific topics with your colleagues, see the non-scientific talents of those in our field, and even participate in an ugly sweater contest. There is a lot to see and do at our virtual meeting. I strongly recommend you take a look at the attendee journey maps that show a clear path to all the meeting has to offer. These useful maps cover all the stimulating scientific sessions, poster abstracts, as well as the many networking opportunities with other attendees, and the full list of exhibitors showcasing the devices and innovations you're looking for. 
I look forward to what this week will bring, and I am excited to see you here.